Hi, and welcome to another video in this Lambda introduction series. In this video, we will create our first Lambda function, as well as go through some initial configuration and core concepts about Lambda functions. So let's jump straight into it. Start by opening the AWS console, as I have done over here. Using the search field, navigate to Lambda. And from here, we can create a new function. We will start from scratch without any blueprint. So give the function a name. I will create a Lambda function using Python. So let's choose Python 3.8 as our runtime. Choose to create a new role with basic Lambda permissions. Now every Lambda needs a role to run. A role can then have policies attached to it that allows a Lambda function to perform certain tasks on different AWS services, such as allowing our function to read from a DynamoDB table. Now that we have done the initial configuration, hit Create Function. Inside this code editor window, a method called Lambda Handler is created for us. This is the main method of your function code and accepts two parameters, event and context. Event is an object representing the event or trigger that caused the invocation of a Lambda function. It contains information regarding that event. It can be an HTTP request from an API gateway or messages from an SQS queue. Context provides properties as well as functions that tell us about the invocation and execution environment of our Lambda function. The Lambda Handler method returns a JSON object by default. Inside the Lambda Handler method, write two print commands, one for the event and one for the context. And to save the changes we have done, hit Deploy. Now we may want to test our Lambda function. To do this, we can create a test event by clicking on the test button. Now we need to configure some input. I will make use of the hello world template and give the event a name and then provide some input. I will structure the input as a JSON object. Lastly, hit create. Now the test event should be selected in the drop down menu over here and we can run our test event. Now the print commands should provide some output to the terminal. Now you may wonder in what terminal? Well, all output to the terminal gets logged to CloudWatch. To view the logs, let's go to the Monitoring tab. Here you can see several metrics of our Lambda function, as well as a link to CloudWatch logs. Now is a good time to mention that logs get organized into something called log groups. Each Lambda function has its own log group. Inside a log group, you will probably find one or more log streams like this. Each time a Lambda function performs a cold start, a new log stream is created. A bit oversimplified, a cold start is when a Lambda function executes for the first time in a while. Inside this log stream, you will find the output from our print commands. Now we have created our first Lambda function, and already, we have made use of another AWS service, namely CloudWatch. In the next video, we will make our Lambda function communicate with a DynamoDB table. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And to learn more about Lambda functions, remember to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon to get notified when I publish more content.